called BARK, an all-volunteer program that encourages children to increase their reading skills and self-confidence by reading aloud to therapy dogs. Students find it intimidating to read in front of their classmates, but love to read to the four-legged animals. NBC4's Kathy Vara has tonight's Live Connected report. Goofy, there he look, is. Look who's here. Curious eyes peer through the door. The kids can barely wait to read to their furry friends. A dog party, a big dog party. Sit, sit. Come here, Koopy. Sit. He stayed. Dogs and kids, there's just some connection between the two. It was too wet to play. I'm trying a new cookie recipe tonight. Cooper, Banjo, Jimmy, Jazz, and Riley, part of a program called Bark, but these dogs are trained to listen. To the tree, to the tree. To children who might otherwise be self-conscious reading out loud. Which one would you like? Joan Sather and her dog Cooper have been part of the Bark program for five years. This is good. She says it doesn't take long for the children and the dogs to connect. And they want to pet the dog, and then pretty soon we say, well, let's choose a book, and then just the whole thing kind of happens to them. It isn't like I'm trying to read in front of all my peers. Tristan Comlos is a principal of John Muir Elementary School in Santa Monica, one of the many California schools using Bark Therapy Dogs we all like to, do. to help students who are reluctant readers, and it's working. It breaks down some of those barriers and things that keep reading from being something fun and positive. And their reading levels go up, and it has been incredible to see. Joel Kuritzer is a retired pediatrician who didn't want to give up working with kids, so he joined Bark with his dog Banjo, who, like the other Bark dogs, is more than willing to lend a patient ear. They're not fidgety and uh, jumping around and all, and they seem to like being read to. Great popsicle. Students like six-year-old Millian Mitchell agree that reading in front of adults or other students can be intimidating for anyone. Sometimes when you read with people and you don't know them, you get frustrated. But he feels right at home next to his reading companion, Jazzy. Sometimes the kid will ask me, is he listening? And because he's lying down like that. I said, oh, no, no, he concentrates much better with his eyes closed. He snores. <laughs> does, he, does that mean he's not listening? <laughs> yeah. The Bark Reading Program runs just eight weeks. One for you. But the connection between the children, <laughs> dogs, and books, Big dog. that can last a lifetime. Bye. In Santa Monica, Kathy Vara, NBC4 News. Bark is an all-volunteer program founded by Josie Gavieris in 2007. Since then, the program has grown to include more than 150 dogs helping students read in 120 schools and libraries in California. They also visit nursing homes and veteran centers. Fantastic.